What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. And so to pick up where we left off last time, we have done a huge amount of damage to the Poles and we have begun our offensive eastward. And as part of that, the force that we sent in behind the lines to siege Warsaw um, is, going to, is going to sally out of the gates towards us. So we will do them the honour of destroying their forces. Yes, we're pushing on to Gdansk, we're pushing, well we are, sieging Warsaw. But ideally, if I can take Warsaw and Konigsberg, that would be then the time to try and strike a peace deal with uh, Poland and Lithuania. Because those would be two fortified territories that are very, very useful to own. Especially if I want to expand eastward into Russia anyway. But then that would almost entirely um, cut our wars in Europe down to just against France and Spain. Which is pretty awesome. And we are going to counter-attack the enemy. Because their forces are quite weak. So push units up against the wall there. Get two units to hold this gap between the centre. The cavalry is charging. We'll ignore it for now. Get my gunners to make a hole into the fort. I mean, they're only provincial cavalry, that's the thing. And then you guys drop into square. Oh no. So the idea of these guys was to, was to block that section of the wall there. You guys block there. Push my infantry up because they're quite vulnerable. We're making our breaches. Push my general up. Guerrilla mercenaries, provincial militia, provincial line. Not much of it really matters. You men might secure this bastion and take hold of this gate to prevent them from pushing out. They got. F no, they haven't got fire by rank. Watch out, mercenaries. There's a unit of infantry right here waiting for you to push out. Yep, yeah, there goes the provincial line. The militia are going to go the same way, because they are now going to be the target of all of that firepower. The militia came back. Good on them. Let my Freud Corps mass on the walls. The new men form up here. core line up here, you guys line up like so. Let's get redeploying because it looks like we're going to be... we're just taking free hits. Push my cavalry up. They can't make up their mind where they want to go. We're in no rush. My Freikor can make their way up before pushing across this walkway 
to secure the gatehouse. And there's an enemy cavalry unit, but they're being engaged by sporadic fire from my line. Things what I wanted to see, so then you guys can secure that side of the bastion. You men can push around to this side of the bastion and secure it. You're very methodically pushing around. So these units cease fire. Okay, now you men push across. Secure the gate, prevent them from pushing out the centre so that they can only really come out this breach when it exists. Another unit to scale the wall and do a similar thing. Yeah, there we go, this gate is ours. You guys can fire at will now, except for you. Because you were. Uh, you were able to fire into the infantry battle. Went into my cavalry pursuit. Same again, actually, still. Let's just pivot, you guys. What I want is for you guys to position on the fire step and shoot down into this block of men. Hey, we have all the gates anyway. It's probably a function of if they don't have any men on the wall. That happens, I guess. Push everyone in through the gate. So then you men form up behind the wall here. Okay, they're both shattered. Go take out the 9th Regiment. That's what I wanted them to do. And then this cavalry, when it's done, is going to go through this gate. Bearing in mind, this isn't a siege assault. I'm not trying to take the city, but that's just how it's uh, emerging. Huzzah! In you come, my children. Deep guard Trabarton, advance that direction. We've suddenly realised what's happening and that we're in. Now the cavalry run out. Mm. 
No. Let my infantry fight that battle. You guys, get out of here. And support the men that are now going to be charging into the breach. go so my foot guards are sparring with a provincial line infantry unit alone there's a general bodyguard unit there if we get one of these units start to attack the provincial militia although it looks like we're going to be in a bit of a bad spot when it comes to so you men do this, you guys push forward to here, you men charge down garrison line infantry unit. There we go, militia units broken. Slaughter them as they try and run through your unit, because that's going to get you some good experience. Keep on running. Uh, where did the general go? Oh no, he get okay. That was the cavalry. That was the cavalry unit that was running. Starting to chug. Charge down the steps into the twelfth regiment. It says they're eager, but I don't think they will be, not for very long. Because the rest of their unit is just, is just running. But yeah, very sadly, this will not. Res this doesn't mean we've captured Warsaw, even though we effectively have. Use my fry cord to keep just che chewing up these. Polish troops that are trying to flee. Take him out. It's one, the last man in his unit. Not just any random guy. There he goes. There we go. There goes the 12th. Then slaughter them as they try to flee. Again, just to get some easy experience. But apart from that, Damn right, it's a heroic victory. Bavaria already did a number on them there. Oh, two and a half thousand men lost. So we're still going to have raiders coming in from the south. The Gdansk garrison is being bolstered. Looks like they might have killed my general. The devils, they did, they killed my general near Paris. That's dashed and sporting of you. Oh well, plenty where they came from. Everyone's going to carry on sailing. So where are you going? Hopefully someone that doesn't bother me. So we're up to cool 20 grand. So yeah, we killed a suspicious death, Mr. Mering, even though he was minus 5%, Leopold Eisler. Let's get a water-powered cloth mill. Let's get another water-powered cloth mill. Let's hop over to Europe. Not no Europe, the Americas. Can you guys leave Cuba immediately? You can. You guys are going to build a shipyard. Get rid of the church school. Because we don't need it, because they're already 100% Protestant and happy. 
let's get some basic roads. Let's upgrade the port. Let's upgrade. Let's get a guard ship in there. Because Cuba itself isn't exporting all of its goods. Abundant yield. Tobacco plantation. And I get a large tobacco plantation. There we go. So you men are going to go join Leopold's army. Good. So. You men attack the school and just... Just sit there. And hold it. And you guys can take... Now, this force that's attempted to raid around behind our lines and get back to Hungary. You guys can just... Ah, oh, unfortunately, you're bringing these guys into it. Let's move them away. So we effectively fought this battle. So let's just take it for hours. Get rid of the university because you don't need it. Mr. Tauber, let's advance and attack the city of Gdansk. Take it, replenish it, storm east towards Königsberg as quickly as possible. Then we can attempt to make peace with Poland, consolidate our gains, upgrade our empire, focus on expanding in America, then probably isolate and destroy Great Britain. I think that would be a good win. Get my guns behind the line because we know the enemy force is not very strong. So yeah we're not going to need to be very clever it's in terms of cavalry usage. Yeah my Freikor cavalry looked pretty good. Let's get my Freikorps cavalry out on the flank to provide fire support. In general though, we're going to be charging. Looks like they formed a few defensive lines. Oh, let's use carcass shot. That's quite good as a bit of an entry level. Provincial Cavalry is advancing. They've been, they're advancing, but they didn't uh, drive their charge home. Because now my troops are in position to give them a good volley at close range. I've got my Grenadier Guards. Yeah, there we go. Provincial Cavalry routed immediately. Push up quickly because they've got a unit of militia that's going to try and dig in. In fact, Grenadiers and the 41st and the 5th Foot Guards storm the militia. Get my. Freikorps cavalry into the town. Yeah, you men can engage the militia to the front. Charge on into the provincial cavalry. The gunners are routing. You men all charge the 4th regiment. All of my guns engage the general's bodyguard. Yeah, their, their force has uh, collapsed. My cavalry's going to smash into their infantry. Oh, they're losing men so fast. Then go chase down the general. Poor, poor souls. He's gone into the woods to try and protect himself 
but my cavalry are like bloodhounds. There we go, we've caught up with them. You can't run, General. All of my cavalry's found you. Including my Vile Dragoons. Curassier. Poor, poor souls. I mean, they're still steady. General's unit is, is relatively sturdy. Oh, you're going to fire into the combat. How cute. Let's see if we can kill the general. Well, that doesn't make much difference, actually. Because we're attacking the city. <laughs> a couple of shots off. But in the grand scheme of things, my cavalry is going to hit home. <laughs> So long, provincial militia. It's ironic, really. They're actually losing men slower than the line infantry did. There we go, I believe. Yep, there we go. That's Gdansk. Secured. So my agent can push up towards... One of you push up to... Well, push up towards Minsk, I suppose. You got 11 coins. What can you replenish? A couple, an infantryman. One guy. And a couple... No, actually. It's not bad. Oh, okay, so you researched Longitude Watch and you've gone on to Naval Architecture Advances. That's not bad. A couple of good tech upgrades and immediately we've jumped up to 22,294. There we go. Our first, our first exports are going to hit the markets. Ren still isn't sure what it wants to do. Here comes Spain. We knew they were going to attack us sooner or later. So it looks like we might have to immediately uh, dump a bunch of cash in Paris to start recruiting more armies to advance south. They're going to raid Paris and cause us some economic strife. The Ottomans have declared on us. Who would have seen that coming? Let's see how many of their allies join them. None of them. The Sultan's rage knows no bounds. Oh no, they've taken the fort. Very well. I will seek peace with Poland. Well, actually, I might take take Königsberg, seek peace. But yeah, we're back on to war fighting mode now. <coughs> Apologies, guys. Russia's declared war on us. Well, now we are in war fighting mode. At least if Russia's declared on us, Sweden likes us. That might have impacted our income a bit. And we're about to impact our income a bit. With our military expansion. Trade agreement with the Ottomans has been cancelled. So we don't. Well, we do share a border with Russia. Very well. Put Königsberg under siege. Just hold it for now. Upgrade you to a trade port. Maybe even a military port. We don't have any in the Black Sea. In the Baltic, sorry, not the Black Sea. OK, 
Okay, so congratulations, sir. One of you gets promoted to a general. Georg Guthmann. Two Marines. Two Fusiliers. Hussar Freight Corps. You're actually going to advance out of the city. So we're recruiting a bunch of units there. You want to get two heavy cavalry from the capital. You men are advancing towards this Spanish force. Benito de Aguerto. Franz Lauter. So you can gain some troops, and you can you can get ready to push against the enemy. You guys get to Hungary, get the militia down here as well. Just to blunt these guys if they attempt to attack us. Let's replenish as many of these buildings as we can in Warsaw, and replenish as much as we can. Okay. Yeah, so we're lots of pretty much at war with all of Europe now. But then again, we are the dominant power in Europe, so that's understandable. If I tax, increase the level of tax by one, it, it, generally it makes things. And we're still growing, but lots of areas we are shrinking, so let's not do that. Let's go over to the Americas. Because you chaps. First of all, we're going to take our smallest unit and, and merge troops together. New men are barking to Holguin. We can sail to hit Santo Domingo. Lots of native troops. Actually, that's a bit dodgy. We want to maximise our use of our firepower. That's for darn sure. You should start, be able to start exporting more of your goods soon. Let's hit end turn. It's got some awareness of what's going on at Vilnius. I've gone the wrong way. Oh, the garrison at Konigsberg is attacking me. Come at me, Konigsberg. Come at me. So yeah, if we can take Konigsberg, we've got Warsaw, that's quite a strong um, eastern front to hold off against the Russians. So let's force them to come at us. We've got the advantage, they've got mortars, I'm going to keep my troops alive well to keep my troops alive as well as I can hold the flanks twelve pounders beyond the high ground same with my howitzers Skirmish cavalry can get some exercises on the flanks. So you chaps engage the enemy on the right flank. Reinforcements coming in on the left. 
Marines, Garrison Militia, Garrison Line, Dragoons. <clears throat> the main thing, yep, there we go. So we've got their mortar crews to abandon their guns. Yeah, it's just a regiment of horse. Get my howitzer to hit the marines. Deploy my cavalry on the left. So again, because it's raining, we've got audio problems. Let's knock out this initial unit of cavalry. They're going to break pretty quick, but then we're going to try and do as much damage as, we, as possible to see if we can shatter them. Good, they're shattered. General's bodyguard's still strong in the centre. And my guns to focus on the provincial line infantry coming in through through the gates. You guys attack the garrison line. You may attack the general's bodyguard. Let's turn the line infantry guard fire at will off. My cavalry starting to skirmish the enemy marines. But they still have to advance into my musket line. Deploy my heavy, my melee cavalry out on the flank to knock out the militia. You guys hit the damn mortar garrison with canister shot because they're going for your, my guns. Killed a bunch of my own heavy cavalry there. That's all. I always forget that with skirmish cavalry. Be real careful about uh, securing your troop. About securing your um, infantry from getting cut down by friendly fire. So that's the militia attacked on the right flank. You guys keep attacking the sixth. We're going to cut these chaps down pretty nicely. Getting my guns to focus on the 8th regiment that are advancing in. Get these guns to focus on the 7th when they get within range. There we go. But the rest of my troops are gonna stand up and lash them with volley fire. Push my cavalry at the right flank to hit the firelock armed citizenry. You guys might actually do a bit more damage to those militia to make sure they rout. The mortars have made it to our line. Retarget my guns here. Where's my howitzer? Switch to carcass shot. Attack the mercenaries. Real long range shot. Want to make them shatter so they don't come back. Keep reloading, Frycore. Okay, let's bring you back anyway. Hit the Phylock Arm Citizenry in the rear there. Sixth Regiment of Foot are going down. Good. So you men pivot. 
I'm going to fry core cavalry, attack them to make sure we'll try and do as much damage as possible. You may have to charge them because they've got too close. New chaps. It's deploy to attack the fourth. You men deploy just to head off their reinforcements that come in anyway, so I can slam my cavalry in to the centre. Charge the ninth on the flank, they've broken. You men keep charging, you guys attack the third foot guards. You men slam into the third foot guards. Curassier go after the provincial cav. My twelves at the rear. Focus on making your way into the fort. Howitzers do the same thing. Let's bring my cavalry in. To attack the enemy. Heavy cavalry has knocked them out. Well, it's caused them to break. Keep my cuirassier running in. To try and intercept the third foot guards. Okay, my wild dragoons need to get in there and hit the men involved in this main combat here. Got some marines and some mercenaries in here. Ah, my cuirassier chasing down provincial horse. Run up here, actually, because their gunners are about to be ripe for the killing. Okay, all of you except my cavalry. Maneuver. You men hit the provincial cavalry. So you guys get over here to attack Polish gunners. There's no one left inside the fort. So now we push against the reinforcements that are coming in from the left flank. Third foot guards are shattered and mercenaries are still here. There's not very many of them, so my wild dragoons might be enough. Yeah, they're back wavering already. They seem to be a bit delicate because they've lost so many men. Keep on pushing my troops up. You guys keep attacking the gunners. My Freikor cavalry come in and hit the mercenaries. Ultimately, the enemy infantry that's coming in is not going to be able to do very much against my line. Because they're going to get hit by volley after volley after volley then decide, actually, this is a really bad idea. OK, 
Okay, get my cavalry to pursue these chaps. Just to make sure they don't stick around. I'm just going to kill the unit of mercenaries. They routed uh, the edge of the map's not very far away. But yeah, so you can see uh, Fire by Rank has a significant effect on enemy morale. So much so that actually, see, they, they do reform and come back because it's not. They don't lose a devastating amount of troops. So let's push some against that block there, then keep two units ready to hold against the fourth should they elect to come back into the action. Yeah, there we go, the 4th Garrison Guards. Yep, yeah, they've broken. You may hold fire, get back to the guns. There we go. So the poor old... Second Regiment of Foot, East European Mercenaries. You're in for you're in for some trouble because most of your army, all of your army is gone. You're all that remains. So let's just enjoy a little bit of slaughter. But fundamentally, they are not long for this world. Nope, oh, there they go. They broke. You devils. So that is the garrison at Konigsberg repelled, plus the supporting army. 700 men remaining. Yep. Back you go. My intention is to take... Well, I'm probably going to auto Konigsberg now, because we've pretty much fought that battle. But then auto, auto Konigsberg and then make peace with Poland to see if they go for it. I suspect they will not. But if they do, that'll be pretty awesome. Apart from that, the Ottomans, they've declared war on me, but they don't actually want to push. Mm-hmm, the first Russian armies are beginning to show themselves. Go on, Sweden, take him out. Invade. Invade from the north. If you don't do it, I'm going to start doing it. More Venetian troops, where are they going? Don't, don't declare war on me, Venice. That would be super lame. Let's assume they are going to declare war on me, though. So you guys are going to just take, yeah, take the garrison. Come on. You spend a bunch of cash replenishing or repairing the buildings, then replenish the troops within. Okay, so diplomacy, Poland, peace. Do you want to trade? I mean, we hate each other. Let's make a bit of cash. Because oh, I'm definitely going to make more use out of it than you are. You push up to St. Petersburg. Let's get some visibility on what's going on up there. Venice is going to get up to some mischief. So, you guys keep responding to them. Get the cavalry over to Mr. Guthman. So, you've got your cavalry. Let's just churn out some more. And a two, no, not too much infantry, because I want to try and get some infantry in the Netherlands. So 
24,000 next turn in terms of tech. Ancillary regain, enemy raids, intellectual advance, wealth of nations, good. Cuba got better roads, Cuba's got a shipyard. Again, Cuba's not exporting all of its goods. I don't know how much of that's... Well, part of it's going to be the port, but another part of it's going to be the roads, I would assume. You will just put Santo Domingo under siege for now. Yeah, looks like Venice wants to declare war on me, which is frustrating, but there we are. Let's move a militia unit over to Hungary. Because Franz Lauter can push out of Venice, borrow a militia unit from Breslau. So we've made peace with Poland, but a fairly narrow front against the Russians to worry about. So you guys can redeploy south if you need to, but really, I need to, really I need to start. Getting, I need to start getting rid of some enemies. I think this will be a good start. So let's push my agent towards Belgrade. You can take the war. Actually, you might just hold on to it for now. I want to see how they react. I might even want to move some of these guys to Vienna. Hmm, actually. No, I don't want to leave Vienna. I want to build up another army. I'm getting 24,000 a turn. So... Oh, there we go. Britain needs to die. Spain needs to die. We've managed to ease up on the front against Poland. Radio, here comes the Spanish in to try and protect the garrison. And this is this is actually kind of useful because you've got the enemy, uh, the difficult army up front, and the actual uh, the mass of the enemy troops we've got on the left, we can deal with uh, part and parcel. But let's do it. This is kind of a bit of a teensy-weensy bit of a dodgy fight because it's got a, we've got a bunch of uh, militia against native troops, but then again we do have a reasonable amount of artillery, so it's probably not going to be too much of a problem for us. So let's deploy deploy the bulk of our guns up front, because we are going to want to thin out the enemy melee rush so then let's put a component of our line infantry angled towards the left get my cavalry on the right to support my militia wing here's our militia reserve Okay, they're coming in right on the flank. Okay. Deploy our militia reserve to hold them up. Let's deploy two units of line like so. Deploy two units of line in the center. So then we can use fire by rank to persuade most of the reinforcements to run fairly quick. There's the native Bowman Auxiliary on the right. All my guns are pounding their gunners. We are going to want to switch the canister shot, get them to work on the enemy formations. Yeah, they've lost their gunner. OK, 
Okay, let's head up towards the enemy position. The faster we can make them route, the better. Canister shot on the native warrior auxiliary. Not go too mad with pushing immediately. There we go, my infantry at the head of the my line infantry at the head of the column. Have a delicate job. You men reload. Make sure my militia guard mode on. Get my general over here. Look at there, broken. So my militia on the flank will help bolster that force there. Get my general to knock out the gun crews so they don't do too much to screw up my master plan. Again, for whatever reason the rain sometimes makes vanilla sounds. Well, it stops the Darth, the Darth mod sounds stop working, and then the vanilla sounds start working again. Okay, let's no, let's not let's not go mad because again we've pushed up. And the enemy still have a reasonable amount of support in the centre. Get my general over here because got a unit of militia was upset at the. I suppose we do have a a significant enemy force in melee combat with us. It looks like they're throwing more men in. You men have to thin out those native auxiliary bowmen first. You guys... So this isn't quite so ideal. I might have to charge my general's bodyguard in... ...to try and see if we can break the enemy morale. Native Aura Auxiliary are wavering. Garrison Line are wavering. Good you men form up. And continue to engage. Well, reload and fire into the flank of the 23rd. funny where I did have someone say yeah, I've got the Darth I've got the vanilla sounds on it's like I don't have the vanilla sounds on um, they have decided to turn on because the Darth mod sounds decide not to work charge the buccaneers okay my guns limber up I need to get more Troops over onto this flank. Probably get my general out. Two militia units attack the buccaneers. Bolster the front.
First Regiment of Foot, at least they're f having to form line. Okay, right, so we might have to... Abandon... Those men. And these two units... Form up. There we go. You've knocked out those buccaneers. You men get over here. Okay, the first regiment is shattered, so let's withdraw you men as well. These guys have to fight to hold to slow up the enemy advance. Actually, you guys deploy here. You guys deploy out wide. Everyone's trying to make as much progress as they can towards the front. My guns are going to take an awful long time to get in. But until they do get my infantry up front, get my Val Dragoons to push the right flank. My Marines are ready, my Militia's ready. My line is okay. 32nd have held on valiantly. My Dragoons can hit the Buccaneers. Looks like their intention is to continue their bayonet charge, but we've got a reasonable amount of firepower now at the front. Might try some of our dragoons around to try and take out their general. That would give us quite an advantage. These Hessian Line Infantry units, well, they're under a constant withering fire. So let's charge my Dragoons into the rear of the Firelock Armed Citizenry, bolster them with a charge from the Freikor, push up my right flank. Ultimately, the guns just stay out of the way. There you go, the Firelock Arm Citizenry are down. Keep my Dragoons mobile. We've turned their flank. So now my troops are going to be able to perform, going to be able to pour massive amounts of fire onto these troops who are not able to respond because they don't have the advanced firing drills. Pivot back my left flank, bolster them with another unit of militia. Hit the 29th Regiment of Hessian Line just because they're in a nice block. They're shattered. Try and hit the native bowman auxiliary. There you go. Now we've got the enemy general in the mix. You guys can actually advance up like so. Unit of armed citizenry is still in the mix. But let's keep my Val Dragoons moving and keep people shattered. New men both engage the Firelock Arm Citizenry. These units redeploy to more generally position against not just this unit but the unit to the rear. Let's 
shattered, broken, still broken. Yeah, that firelock arm citizen in citizenry units not gonna know what hit him. Get my cavalry over to hit the 24th Regiment of Foot. Yeah, there we go. There go the firelock arm citizenry. You men charge the 24th, knock them out of commission. Huzzah! Many, many dead Spaniards. They thought they could push us on the flank and knock us off balance. Well, we soon saw them off. Oh, 3,300 dead Spaniards. Yeah, you might think you're going up to no good, but actually you're going to cause yourself more trouble. So what will the Ottomans elect to do? Yeah, I need to... I need to knock out an enemy, because right now I'm at war with almost everyone on my borders. I need to pick a direction and kill them and that direction is probably going to be Great Britain first. Because we've landed the army to the north here. Got a Spanish army here so Paris needs to immediately start recruiting Lots of troops. You've raided a building site. Bravo, Ottoman Empire. I bow to your strategic cunning. The strategy is to hold against Russia, not to expand. We may need some armies to fill in the gaps. But in the grand scheme of things, things are going pretty do well. We still might see a Venetian army land off the coast, which could cause some issues near our capital. But first, let's see, that's what they intend to do. Hmm. Pirates are going to pirate. We get a good chunk of change off the bat. So that's a bit annoying. They can just run through our line. But that's why I'm just going to move you guys up to auto this little raiding force. And then replenish. I probably should just attack the Ottomans here, but the main problem was I wanted to recruit. Some reserves. So you men get into the city. That's, pretty, that's a pretty good garrison, to be honest. You're going to push up and attack Mr. Aguerto. The cavalry can't quite make it to Paris. Darrell Jarrett is going to go down. Let's recruit some heavy infantry in Amsterdam. Let's upgrade some infrastructure. I always like upgrading infrastructure, but let's go back to Cuba. Get the roads upgraded. Get the plantations upgraded, get the port upgraded. Ooh, that's a lot of. That's a good chunk of change. Let's not do that yet. Although, actually. Yeah, that's backwards. Cancel upgrading these buildings so we can repair the port because we're currently bottlenecked in our exports. We're not exporting money. We're, not, we're producing these, these commodities, but not exporting them, so it's not contributing to our tax. Get a craft workshop because they're cheap. 
New men replenish and continue. To be honest, you could just, could just demand the surrender of the city, but you're going to keep hold of it for now. Chiefly because I want to set up some battles. So I want to march here. Then smack you. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of this Spanish force that tried ever so desperately to go for Paris. Cheers everyone.